Hi, Messiah Sunday School. This is Miss Angie, and we are on Unit 3, Lesson 11, A Deacon Delivers. Let's start out with a prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, you bring us together around your word. Help us to learn and understand your will for us. Bless our time together. In your name we pray. Amen. Who are some people that help you? God gives us so many people to help us. Sometimes you get to be the helper. How do you help people? Have you ever helped someone by running? The Holy Spirit helps us too. Let's see how the Holy Spirit and running fit together for this New Testament event. An angel of the Lord told Philip the deacon to get up and go south on a road through the desert that goes from Jerusalem to Gaza. Philip went right away. A rich man from Ethiopia was riding in a chariot. The rich man worked for Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians. He was in charge of all her treasure. He had gone to Jerusalem to worship and was on his way home. He was reading the Holy Scriptures from a scroll. Then along came Philip, and the spirit said, Go. So Philip ran to catch up to the chariot. Philip heard the man reading a passage from Isaiah 53 and said, Do you understand what you are reading? The man said, No, I can't understand unless someone helps me. Please help me. Come and sit with me. The Ethiopian read a passage of scripture and said, Tell me, who is the lamb? Philip said, Jesus is the lamb. Then Philip told him more of God's good news, that Jesus died and rose. Now I understand, said the man from Ethiopia. As they went along, the man saw water. Look, here is water. Philip, can you baptize me? He stopped the chariot and they both went down to the water. Philip baptized the man from Ethiopia. What a joyful day. When they came out of the water, the spirit carried Philip away. The man from Ethiopia could not see Philip anymore, but rejoiced and went on his way. Philip found himself at Azotus, and he kept preaching the gospel to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. It is pretty unusual for the Holy Spirit to be talking to Philip and moving him around in this supernatural way. We don't see this mentioned in any other New Testament story. Ezekiel record, re records being moved this way in the Old Testament. Sending Philip to help the Ethiopian man understand scripture and baptize him was very strategic. This Ethiopian man was very wealthy because only the wealthy could buy their own scrolls. And he had access to the higher echelons of government. This event was the beginning of the spread of the gospel through Africa. Let's, uh, let's go over some questions. The Ethiopian needed someone to help him understand the scriptures. Who helps you understand the Bible? It's probably more than one person. What is the job of the Holy Spirit? How does the Holy Spirit do this? The Ethiopian was a grown-up when he was baptized. Many people get baptized when they are children, but grown-ups can get baptized too. What do you remember or know about your baptism? At the end of the story, it says that both Philip and the Ethiopian went on their way rejoicing. What is our response to being baptized? What is our response to hearing the gospel? This week's Bible verse comes from Romans chapter 10, verse 17, and it says, Faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Hearing God's word is a wonderful gift that the Lord has given us. It brings us faith and life. Just as he did with the Ethiopian, God places his name on us in our baptism, and that's a pretty big deal. Well, 
Let's end with prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving us people to help us understand the Bible and teach us about your word. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit and baptism. Help us to share the gospel like Philip did with the Ethiopian. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Have a great week and we'll see you next week.